And tonight we have an update on a story we brought you last week. An Iowa husband and wife rallied a community to help Ukraine in the ongoing fight with Russia. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichart shows us that help is on the way. For many of us, the conflict in Ukraine seems like it couldn't be further away. But for at least one Iowa couple, the devastation hits close to home. So they called on a little bit of Iowa nice to bring some help all the way to the other side of the globe. Life on the farm is always filled with hard work. Today, instead of tending to the fields, Kathy Sebring and a group of volunteers were packing up boxes filled with food, clothes, medical supplies, and more to send to Ukrainians in need. People just want to help. and. They know what's happening is so incredibly wrong, and we want to do something that's right and good. The cause is personal for Sebring. Her husband, Gordy, runs a farm in Ukraine and has spent 29 years traveling back and forth from Iowa. When the Russian invasion began, he decided to stay overseas. I decided my best thing that I could do for the war effort was to stay behind, bring some stability to the situation, uh, stay with my workers, and uh, try and do whatever I could to make sure Ukraine wins this thing. To do that, Kathy and Gordy began collecting donations to send to Ukraine. The response, nothing short of incredible. Donations came from as far away as Massachusetts. By the time packing today was finished, it took two semi-truck trailers to hold everything. Kathy told me she was inspired by the bravery of the Ukrainians she and Gordy had met. The people from Mariupol recently said, we will fight to the last person in this town before we give in to the Russians. And so how do you not want to help people that are giving their lives up for their country? If all goes well, it'll take three to four weeks to get all the donations across the ocean to Ukraine. And none of it would have been possible without a little help from the Hawkeye state. Iowa nice is not just a pretend thing. This has really blown me out of the water. In Albia, Carson J.S. Reichardt for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And there is still one hurdle left to cross, paying the shipping fees to get the donations overseas, which could cost up to $20,000. If you would like to donate, you can contact New Hope Christian Church in Marshalltown and let them know you want to help with the Ukraine donation drive.